Oh, I'm a minute late. Per huge. Hi, Christy. She's here, but she's the one. Hey, Nino. I'm always quiet. Sally looks really creepy back there, not gonna lie. <laughs> it's just eyes. <sighs> oh my gosh. It's not fun. <laughs> yeah. All right. So. Hey, everybody. Hey, Miranda. What are you doing? Oh, my God. It has been a day. Don't you mean two weeks? <laughs> Whoa! Hey, the other Denise. <laughs> uh, my other witchy person. Hey, hang on. I think they knocked something out down there. Or out there. Hang on. Is everybody okay? Loki. Hey, fairy. Uh, actually, she'll tell you. Um, she doesn't want to do garage sales again because it wasn't that great. I'm having one this week. This well, it's next weekend. Um, gonna be getting ready for it, having it Friday and Saturday here. Uh, my cousin and aunt are getting ready to move, and they need to get some stuff uh, sold and everything because they can't take everything. Hey, Lori. Hey, Cindy. This is just all over. I think it's like puppy. Right. Okay, big crash has been investigated. Hello. <laughs> Hi. All right. Hello, Denise. Hello, my fairy. What's up, Lori? Hey, Cindy. Hey, Julie. What's up, Amy? Hi. There was a really loud noise. I just want to make sure that everyone was okay. Okay. So, thank you. <laughs> hey, Maury. Hello, everybody. Um, So, do you guys want me to start with the new stones or with the new... Um, Ray Dunn, or I've got some other stuff as well. Hey, Julie, my Huey. I don't know why I like to call you Huey. It's fun. Oh, my goodness. These dogs are going to kill me one day. If you want to know about the garage sale, it effing sucks, and I'm never doing one again. Ever, 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 ever. I swear. It's awful. Hey, Amy. I guess I shouldn't say never, ever, 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 but. Oh, my gosh. Hey, Cha-Cha. Hey, Julie. Hi, Cha-Cha. Um, cause it just, I didn't do very good. Like I didn't make very much money. I, there's still a ton of stuff out there. It's, I'm just not, I don't, I'm not cut out for like the garage sale life, man. I just can't, I'm not about it. I don't have like a bunch of big ticket items that people are looking for. If I did, it would have been fine. It just, 
And then it like, it hurt my heart every time when like people would come by and like, kind of like look and like wrench their, like their, their necks and then like not stop and even look at anything. So, you know, it just, I can't handle rejection like that apparently. Cause like, I didn't think I had bad stuff. Like I handpicked most of it. <laughs> So to me, it's not it's not bad stuff, and I had everything was priced very reasonably, like quarter, fifty cents, seventy five cents, dollar, two dollars. The most expensive shit was five dollars or my stones. So, well, just um, I'm glad you didn't have a lot of drive bys. What does that mean? If you would have had only clothes out there, you would have had a lot of drive bys. People would have been just like, ah, oh, no, slow down, and then. Boom, they're gone. That's that's what happened. I had so many drive bys. I was pissed. I had such a good variety of stuff. Ugh. Anyways, all right. I'm sorry. I'm fine. Hey, Kara. Hi, Ian. It's Amanda here. <laughs> <laughs> my phone's making you sound weird but it'll go away soon oh my goodness that's a maybe i should get a new phone garble, i can get a new phone because mine's like broken garble 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 what <laughs> i think that was gonna happen okay whatever uh so the first thing this is technically stone it's a little marble like cup this guy is a $5 start. This is what a pencil and a Sharpie looks like in it. Um, it could also be used as a sphere holder if you wanted to go that route. That's what that looks like on it. It's just really cool. And uh, I love that marble's making a comeback. And it did have like a little plate on the bottom that just like popped off. So that's fun. And you just put that Mukite sphere on there just because, you know. Well, I can put some. I can put fireworks on it. <laughs> I can put fireworks on it. Yeah, it's like you put that guy. <laughs> I can put this big guy on there. Oh, geez. <laughs> Do the eyebrow. Eyebrow. Oh, hello, Kara. Hey, Teresa. Glad you almost on Shaka. Yes. Then we can talk more. I think I'm going to go to um, Kansas City at the end of the week. Missouri. You know what? Kansas, Kansas City. A bunch of really cool stores I want to go to. A big, huge rent fair. They go all out. I don't know what time of year, though. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's get into the stony babies. Around here, it's May for the rent fair. I don't know what time it is there. Oh. I got a list of how much everything is all ready to go. And I'm just going to kind of go through and uh, just show stuff as I go on in here and um, give you prices accordingly. Fairy, you want the, the marble guy? You got it. Hey, Teresa. <laughs> oh, and I can understand you again. I was making nonsense a little bit ago just because you said, I can't understand you. <sighs> this is a no-nonsense channel. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know I'm kidding. <laughs> I like nonsense. Nonsense is good. Okay, so um, I have grape, grape agate towers. They're really cool. Um, I've got uh, four different spheres. I've got labradorite hearts. I have golden healer, um, like little golden healer palm stones. And bracelets. I've got one little mushroom snail thing. I don't know what to start with. Um, 
I'm going to start with this big tower guy. Because I don't know how many people are going to be super into him. I love him. but This is a rutilated quartz tower. With a cluster. And this guy is a $55 starch. Hey, back. So it's got this big cluster, and it is a nice sized tower as well. And it's got these really, it's a really cool color. It's like orangey yellow and like amber with like a little bit of red. What's beef? Oh no, Beck. Uh, Mom's upcycle and design. Her name is Beck. <laughs> Love this guy. And against my forehead. And my face, it's a pretty big guy. We got Lorian at 55. And then, what's like a normal size tower? Um, I don't really know anymore. I have so many different size towers. I would say this one's probably pretty normal. Oh. This is a $20 pyrite tower. And that's what it looks like next to it. So, for reference, it's really cool. I've never seen anything. How am I going to put that? I've never seen anything like it, which is totally why I picked it up. It's gorge. Just a nice little chunker. All right. If nobody else is into it, let's get her right down to Lori. Um, and I will be invoicing and doing more shipping tomorrow. Miranda makes it look easy. I do. I do. <laughs> Only a little bit. All right. <laughs> I'm just comfortable. I didn't like start out like this. Well, if you ask Cha Cha, I was a natural at it. God, I love how that thing stands. I love that it's like the clusters go all the way up to its point. You're going to love that thing. It also reminds me of Godzilla's back. <laughs> like his, like all of like the spikes on his back. You'll see when you see it. So thank you, girl. Congratulations. Okay, let's see. So that was a big honker. Um, Let's do the alligator next because he's just chilling over here. You don't have to have mod Kara, but it does help. And uh, most mods are actually unpaid. Um, some people decide to pay their mods, like, if they're, uh, like, a bigger channel and stuff like that. But most, like, mod positions, it's, um, like, they're, they're just kind of, it's kind of, like, voluntary. Like, you guys are friends or, you know, they just want to help out, that kind of thing. Uh, did I get you a lab heart, Cindy? I haven't showed the lab hearts yet. So, No. I know everybody wanted lab palm stones, but all I was able to get was hearts. They're very pretty, though. As far as modding, my payment is mostly I get discounts and stuff, and I don't mind helping. If I can, I will help. Oh, yeah. And and you sometimes you get, like, free stuff. Beck, I am not a big channel. I can do that in a discount. For discount. Yeah. Yeah, we give her, like, I give her stuff, and Gino will give her stuff, and Cha Cha will give her stuff, and Elizabeth did, and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, Cindy, I've got a bunch of lab hearts here. I'll show them. They're quite interesting. But They're really okay. dark. Really, it's okay. Yeah. She's just hanging out with me. <laughs> All right, so this is, oh my god, where to go? This is, um, it's a clear quartz alligator uh, with a cluster on it, and it's been aura-coated. It's a $45 start. 
Oh, yes. I love Christy. I'd be struggling without her. I think that's how a lot of people feel about their mods. I'm sorry. How much would you start for the alligator? 45. And this guy's a pretty good size as well. He's a little bit bigger than that tower, I think. He's just a little bit longer. I don't, I don't know what I said when. <laughs> but I, when you, I think when, when yeah. you, were, when you were answering her question, I think I probably talked. Is that okay? Up. I'll shush. Um, Say it. Uh, she, all the girls pay me well enough in discounts, and they give me freebies and stuff like that. We send stuff to each other, actually. So, you know, I kind of pay it back to you sometimes. If I get something they like, you know. Yeah. And I mean, like, first first and foremost, like, we're all, like, friends. <laughs> you know? I don't know. It's a, it's a weird concept. <laughs> it's strange. <laughs> um, the blue lady behind me, that's, that's a Sally. She used to be a Barbie, and I painted her to look like a Sally. All right, so that's the alligator. If anyone's interested in him, let me know. It was really cool. Nash and scrumdiddly umptious. Okay. Um, since we're talking about the lab hearts, we'll do lab hearts next. Okay. Christy is a beautiful person. And she tis the best. What is that? I don't know what that was. All right. Let's see here. We are going to do... We're going to do the lab hearts one by one, and I'm going to let you guys bid on them. And so $10 starts. I can do them all for a $10 start. So here will be the first one. And this is the smallest one I have here. It's got a really good flash. It's flash. Aw, back to Larissa, thank you. So it's got a little bit of like scattered flash on the back. And then the front is like solid flash. And it probably has more somewhere else too. This one's a ten dollar start. And then all the other ones are a little bit bigger than this guy. I don't have any of the massive ones. It's so flashy. I know. I love the blue. Thank you guys. I don't think I'm that great. Thank you. Well, you are great. Christy, you'll, she'll just be selling with us soon. Soon, soon. But there's no rush. It'll happen eventually. Isn't that right? I got stuff packed away. Well, I'm starting to get stuff out, kind of. But it's like I don't have a spot where I need it. Mm. I have kind of audio interruption <laughs> yeah but that's what i mean i do too with my dogs like you know um kara start whenever uh it's it's definitely helpful if you can like practice on someone else's channel um for a little bit first but you could always just go live on your channel and then go for it people will find you and they will come Sometimes it takes a little bit for that to happen, but um, it's definitely possible. I don't, uh, I don't really, I don't really take people in anymore like I used to because I got, I got burned like 
almost every time I tried to help someone start selling. So like, I haven't really done any collabs outside of like my friend group in a really long time. Eventually I'll kind of push myself out of that, but like, I'm just good. I'm good here for now. So, um, I can give advice and stuff like that, but I don't train people anymore. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, like yeah. Teresa would come over. And whenever you wanted to start, if you wanted to come in here and like tell everybody when you're doing it and like go over to Teresa's live and tell everybody when they're doing it there, um, we have yeah. no problem with that. Like no problem at all. So just make sure you get somebody to put your link in there um at the time so that way they'll subscribe to you and be able to see the notifications if they're not yes can i say how i got burned without saying who um yes so i've had several people come on and um sell stuff and then take money from people and then never ship their items um I've had that happen where, you know, they never got their items and they never got a refund. And then those people just kind of disappeared. I've had it happen where, you know, nothing ever got shipped out and then they did send refunds, which that's, that's a bit of that, like, that's a little bit better, but it burns me because when people buy from people that I have on my channel, they, they're, they trust me. And so they're trusting me to put people up here that aren't going to, to scam them. So when I trust someone to come on and then I trust them with my audience and then my audience gets ripped off, then those people who did support me no longer support me. Like they don't come around anymore. They don't talk to me. And for, for whatever reason, like it could be a different reason besides that. It's just logically that's <laughs> my conclusion I would come to is like, you know, and it's not like it, I knew about it when it was happening. I found out about it like, like months later. And at that point, I don't really know what you're supposed to do in that situation. Like, I don't have a list of like who bought from who to be able to like send out an email and like apologize. So exactly. it's just kind of stuff that's unfortunately it's happened several times. So it's you know, it sucks. Everybody wants to go to Miranda because she was the channel that hosted everything to say, this person didn't send me my stuff. And hey, it's not Miranda's fault. It's, you know, on the other person. Sucks. Yeah. And so I've had a lot of people on my channel. And um, I've collaborated with a lot of people, like, on, on their channels and on mine. And, I, like, everyone makes mistakes. Like, I, I messed up one time so bad a few not a few months ago like a, a few months into like me starting roughly and um uh someone bought stuff from me and i like build them and i like put off shipping it for like two months which is absolutely not okay and that person got really upset with me understandably and we worked out out an email and i finally got their stuff shipped to them shipped it to the wrong person and that escalated the situation and it just made it worse. And so the person who got the items accidentally shipped to them, I let them keep it. And the person who got, um, you know, they didn't get their stuff. I, I gave them a full refund because at that point, like I felt like shit because not only did I not send them their stuff for months, but I sent it to the wrong person. And that's like one of the biggest F ups that I've ever done. And, like, I'll own up to it. Like, everyone makes mistakes. So I understand, like, being new um, or making a mistake or trying to remember to do something and then not doing it or just being lazy for a while because you think you can. Like, I totally understand that. But when it's, like, a repeat offender thing, then it's, you know, then it's not okay anymore and I can't I can't help that. Yeah, honey? What's up? Are you functioning or have you a TED <laughs> question i don't do ted talks <laughs> i was just trying to explain like the best way i can what are you doing you, you taking them upstairs my, you missed my bit so oh i'm sorry you want to do it again <laughs> i love you <laughs> i like stuck him in yeah <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> i'm sorry 
sorry. I love you. <laughs> it just comes in. Oh my God. Okay. Oh, I love Gina. Gina's been nothing but an absolute treasure. She's like a national treasure. <sighs> yeah, it's and like I'm a very understanding person. Like I understand things are gonna happen in your life, like horrible things are gonna happen in your life, unfortunately. And I understand that. Like no one is perfect, no situation is perfect, and you know, there's usually a pretty good explanation for anything. So yeah. Okay. Anyways, we're doing this heart. Who's getting the heart? Who got it? <laughs> Well, I kind of, I kind of didn't, you know, do the whole G1, G2, and time, and Cindy's at 17. Who is at 16? Amy? Amy, do you want to come in for 18? Um, okay. So because of the long lapse in time, we're going to go ahead and give it to Amy because Nino went out and then, and we well, I guess Cindy, Cindy never technically went out, did she? No, I don't think so, but I just should have mm -hmm. called it already. Okay. Yeah. Who? Oh, I hate it when this happens. I never know what to do. Um. Uh, let me see if I have another one that's like, like super blue like that. I know, but I have books because I have, you know, eBay store. I have books, but it's like. All right, how about this? This one's uh, pretty similar. It's a tad bit bigger. Um, what if we give the first one to Amy for 16 and then we give this one to Cindy for 16? Oh, does wow. that make everyone happy? It's got a nice bright blue on there and it does have some more flash over there as well. Totally up to you, Cindy. Just let us know. I don't know if this one has um, any side stuff. You on. said okay and Amy said but she's okay either way. It's also got more on the back, too. So they have, like, a similar amount of flash and similar color. So that's cool with you guys. Hopefully that's, that's we're good. All right. Yeah, I think so. Okay. I even saw a little bit of purple in the last one, quite a bit. This one's and Cindy, I am so sorry it took me a thousand years to get back to you. I was super busy with my garage sale, and I just didn't even... Oh, I didn't even know you emailed me. I wasn't checking it. My goodness. Amy, I have your info, don't I? I don't think so. I think I do. I think I do, too. Let me double check. Let's go. Gmail. I'm going to double check while we're chilling here. All right, I'm going to show another lab part. Again, $10 start. Um, let's do, some of these are kind of like, oh, this one's really cool. All right, we'll do this one next. So here's this one. This one is one of the biggest ones I have. And it's got lots of flash on the front there. Wow. And then the back, it's got a nice rainbow here. And it does have other flash, but it's hard to show. On that one part, it's like a skittle. I see the rainbow. Yes. Oh, it's got another rainbow, too. It's got a couple rainbows. It's got pink, purple, light blue, dark blue, green. It's got the whole spectrum back there. Trying to show. There's like another spot up here. You can kind of see it. But, so there's the back. There yeah, we go. One part you can really see though. Oh yeah, it's super bright. I love how flashes. It's so interesting. Oh, this one's basically a rainbow too. It's just a lighter version, and it does have like a little um chip here. Right there. Just to be aware of. But this one, if you hold it in the right direction, there's purple there too. So you gave the number one to 
to Amy. And then number two yeah. Cindy. Okay. Yes. Yep. And then we're starting over with ten dollars start. And Cindy's in for ten for this one. It's got like a double flash. And it's got this crazy rainbow back here. And this one's got, it looks like it's got a little hematite pocket too. Maybe a couple. I can't tell because of how they published it. These hearts aren't very good heart shape. Just saying. <laughs> okay, Amy, no worries. Yeah, I've had, I've had better heart shapes before. These ones are a little rough. A little rough. <laughs> Bro, oh. I found like I got the cutest Ray Dunn cups today. Wait, oh no, Cindy, that wasn't a that that was from before. Oh jeez, Denise, and battle for it. Or what? It's textured. Dang it, it's textured. Yeah, these. I don't know what the price on those is going to be yet, though. It's okay, Cindy. I was just kind of putting out what had been sold from before. From before the Aww, time. Cindy, love you too. Um, did she pay sixteen or seventeen? Seventeen, right? Sixteen. Yeah, they they both pay they sixteen. Both paid 16. Okay. Yes. Correct. There. I don't know which email she's emailing, so I'm hey, opening it. I'm checking. It's loading. I went to the World Market today, which is a store that we have here, and I got some uh, Japanese snacks and some meringue cookies because they're my favorite. Because she's lucky, and they have a store like that near her. I have nothing. You don't have a World Market? Well, uh, it's not like yeah. next to my house. It's like over an hour away from my house, like from where I live. But well, for me, I don't have. I can't go. <laughs> So it's like there's Whole Foods, I think, at like in Fayetteville or something, which is about an hour away. They do have an interesting teas and stuff there. I have went in the past, but yeah, it's kind of hard to know. Okay, so I got your email. Uh, make sure to uh, send me your shipping address because um, I go off of whatever shipping address you email me. That's where um, that's where I ship to. I don't look in PayPal for your address because I don't um, I don't always use PayPal. I use uh, Square a lot too. Okay, so my computer is frozen. All right. So so Cindy gets this one for 10. Cool beans. And then now let's do something else. Can I pay attention, people? What happened? Just not letting it go so long on the on one thing in terms of pay attention. <laughs> yeah, I, sp I only spent like 20 bucks on snacks. It wasn't too bad. Hey Gina Boo. We were just talking about how amazing you are. You missed it. Hey, Gina. Okay. What am I doing? I'm showing things. Okay. <laughs> I was reading the chat. <laughs> okay, let's do... Um, so, I'll tell you... Well, let's just... I don't know. Should we, so, I have a Mukite Sphere, two Fire Quartz Spheres... And a magnesite sphere. The magnesite, the magnesite sphere is the big one that I have, and it has it has a bunch of like um, grape clusters on there. It's really cool. Cha Cha is pretty awesome too. Which one you show in section? I don't know. Let's do let's do the small the small fire quartz first. How about that? All right. So the smaller fire quartz is a $28 start. This is what it looks like. 
And I will be including um, sphere holders for the two fire quartz and for the Mukai one. I don't have one big enough for the magnesite. Oh, that's so cool. Yep. And you guys can pick glass or wood. This is the fire quartz. Here it is in my hand. And here it is compared to the other one. The other one's a $40 start. The other one's a rose quartz or they're they're both fire quartz. Oh, this one looks more like pinky. Yeah. Yeah. Don't. Anybody interested in this one? And I have a massive order of spheres coming. It should be here by Friday. So I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah, what's up, Karen? Also, I'm so sorry I'm behind on shipping and on invoicing. I'll be I'll be caught up this weekend and then everything will be running back smoothly again. And never again will I have a garage sale. So. Oh, I'd rather, I'd literally rather donate all my stuff and just take an L. Like, if I'm being honest. It's so not worth it. I really like this one. It reminds me of, like, a snowball that, like, someone threw at someone's face and they got blood on it. Which, um, <laughs> sounds a little dark, but, you know... So what I think about it's so pretty. It's got all these little it's like it has this amazing like depth to it. Like it literally it kind of looks like like snow that's been like entrapped in like a crystal. And you can like see through different layers of it. It's really cool. I don't know how to show you that on the camera. It's just cool. It reminds me of um like how moss agate will have like some amazing depth sometimes so yes can insane gina <laughs> all right let's call it to the miss fancy and uh gina will be on with me tomorrow night i tried to get her to come on tonight but it, it doth not happen because andy's home tomorrow uh gina do you want a glass sphere stand or could Sometimes too much, fairy. <laughs> Sometimes too much. Thank you. I love it when you guys love my shirt. Makes me feel like a princess. <laughs> Glass, please. You got it. And do you, is this one okay with you, or do you want a bigger one or a smaller one? This is like a medium sized one. I think it looks good on there, but I'll leave it up to you. Yes. Um, did you see a question, Miranda? No. Did she did she ask? I, I've seen a lot of stones and spears on Macari. How do I know if they are real? Um sometimes you can look at it and just tell. Um, but sometimes you just gotta kinda bite the bullet and uh just buy it. And if it's not real, uh you can return it. So what you do is as soon as you get the package, you open it and you inspect it. And then if you're satisfied with it, then you say, yes, I received my package. You rate the buyer and then release the funds. Do not rate or the, the seller. Do not rate the seller and release that money to them un until you have gone through your stuff and you're happy with it. Because as soon as you rate them and say that everything is OK, you're effed. It, does, it doesn't matter if you didn't open that package or not. It's done. You can't you can't return it. Well, Macari might have ways around that, like she just said. Um, did they? Did they? Did Macari change their policy? Because if the seller says no returns, it's not up to them. It's not their platform. But if I didn't, did Macari change their thing? Because I didn't think they did. That's like how people on eBay are like, no returns. It's you can't do no returns, even though most people have it set up so that like you know, no returns because you can't sell faulty or fake items. So if you say, 
if I'm like, I'm selling this Labradorite heart for 20 bucks and someone buys it and they get it in and then they receive it and it's a clear quartz heart, that's not what they paid for. So they would have to return the item to the seller and get their money back. Otherwise, it's a scam. So and scamming is illegal. <laughs> you should be able to do that if you just argue with them about your package that you didn't receive it or you received it not correct or you know not as big as you're shown i i would think they would have something like that maybe yeah yeah it's not up to the seller for them to say no returns it's um it's something that a lot of people add to like deter people from returning stuff but it's you know it kind of gives them a little bit of a you know strike with macari if they get too many of those so yeah yeah, you can always open up a new store. Like, it's not, it's it's just like having a YouTube channel. It could get knocked down, and the next day, in, in 20 minutes, you could have another one. Unless they block your IP address, you're fine. What is down there? I don't know what that is. Okay, next. I got blue lace hearts. Blue lace agate hearts. These guys, when that cheap. And I have nine of them, I think. Two, four, six, eight. I've got nine of them. Here's what they look like. I'll show a couple. And then you guys are basically just going to let me know if you want one. Uh, maybe. Hello? Um, okay, there it is. Let's do, hang on. I think my math might be wrong here. Okay. So, I was going to do these guys for 10 but they are so small, so we're going to do $8. So, these are going to be $8 a piece, and I'm going to change that on here. I've got nine available, and I'll show you what they are. These would be perfect for you to drill a little hole in. And make turn them into pendants. Um, if you wanted to make jewelry with them, they're just little blue lace agate hearts. Oh, so pretty. And uh, basically, you'll just tell me if you want one, and then I'll grab one for you. If you really want me to show you all of them, there's only nine, so like I can number them. Let me just number them. I'm gonna number them. <laughs> So I know some people are like particular, like they want what calls to them. You know what I'm saying? All right, number one is the smallest one. This is number one. Number two. Number three. Number four, I think number four is my favorite. It kind of has a little bit of that chevron type banding. It goes with the shape. Yes, I love it. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number Number seven. Number eight. I really like this one too. And number nine. This one's got some thick banding. And it's just an expensive material, so that's fun. All right, Lori snatching number four. Anybody else? Oh, I need more baggies over here. I'm out of baggies. Oh no! Oh no! No no! I get that in my head like way too often. Not a fan. Oops. <clears throat> I saw today that um, 
one of the new, I guess, one of the newest people uh, on 600 Pound Life died at 30. And she was oh. a TikToker, too. She was a what? A TikToker. She had a TikTok channel. Oh. Yeah, honey. I love you, too. All right, I'm putting these away. If anybody does want one, you can't give me a number now. I ain't going to know what you're talking about. So I'll just pick you one at random. If you like them all, you don't care which one. You just want her to pick out of a hat. <laughs> All right. Um, I've got some great baggage towers here. These guys are um these guys are 15 with the exception of that one and that one. Those ones start at 12. So I am going to show you all the options. There is one that is like solid purple. The rest are purple and green. So I'm going to show you the options and you're going to tell me which number you want to see first. And uh, it'll probably be the all purple one. And then we'll, we'll go from there. So uh, the first two I'm going to show you, these guys are a $12 start. The rest are a $15 start. So this is number one. Number two, this one has like, there's like giant purple clusters. It's quite interesting. Number three, this one's like literally solid purple. <laughs> Number four, I really like this one too. And number five. So if any of those you guys are interested in or want to bid on right now, then I will show them. And then I suppose we ought to do this gold healer soon as well. You gotta pick you gotta pick one to bid on. Gina. Ooh, that one's got really pretty purple on it too though. Did I confuse him, Christy? I'm sorry, I was typing back to yeah. Mm -hmm. Can yeah. you show again, please? So this is number one, and you're picking the one to bid on. Number two, number three, number four, yes, honey. Okay, and number five. Thanks. You'll have to show me how to do it again. I haven't done it in so long. You don't watch TV, y'all. Uh, we're a weird young couple. I watch YouTube a lot. We were on our phones looking at the TV. I have avocado peeling gel. Okay. I think, I think <laughs> it's a beauty product, but the way you described it does not. Avocado peeling gel. Extra mild and soft. That just sounds like <laughs> you put it, you put this gel in your avocados and it instantly peels the avocado <laughs> for you, just disintegrating the hard skin around it. Deep moisturizing. There we go. Now it sounds more like a beauty product. Gamage type. I don't know what the hell that means. <laughs> I don't either. We want to go there number one? Okay. So number one is uh, a $12 start, actually. So we'll go number one and we'll say Gina's in at 12. Any other interest? 
And if it's a pass for everyone else, just type pass in the chat. He doesn't he doesn't start his new job to like the seventeenth or something. The eighteenth? The seventeenth? I work at seven AM at the seventeenth. Ew. This one kinda looks like a waterfall. That's mostly filling up. I wish you could just stay with me. What? I wish you could stay with me. Alright, call this one to Gina. Like you could just be with me all the time. Bruh, I'm pretty sure you get sick and tired of me after a while. Stay with me. Cause you're all I need. Mostly because I'm boring. Yeah, it's like help her do this job with her. <laughs> That's the leading cause of divorce is that you spend too much time with your significant other. I'm just going to go through all of these. And if anyone wants them, just bid on them. I should have just done this and buy it now. This is confusing. Or too much time. For you. All right. This is a $12 start. Grape Agate Tower. Is it that one that looks like coral but isn't coral? Yeah. These are the, the smaller ones, though. I've got a big one somewhere. Okay. <laughs> Did you show them the tutorial? Big one. Little one. Did you show them the tutorial? Get to the turtle. Well, the turtle's for Elizabeth if she wants it, but she's not in here. I think Laura's still alive. <laughs> Alright, I don't think anybody's really excited about the Great Bag of Towers right now. I'm just going to pull them to the side. If you decide you want to see them, let me know. Alright, we're going to do the bulk together. I'm going to show you the pieces I have. I've got this little you're, piece. You're in the tunnel, by the way. No. It's tired. Okay. Andy hasn't started his new job yet. Are you screaming at Because <laughs> Gina yelled at me. How does Andy like his new job? And then Teresa said, John. I like my new job. I haven't started. So yet. we're doing the golden healer. This is the smallest piece. This is the medium size piece. Props. Dante. Yeah, he's sleeping. And then this is the largest piece. <laughs> so those I are the have to say I love that one. <laughs> These are the, the three pieces of golden healer. <laughs> it, it's, it's like I look like a diamond, but I'm not. I got three pieces at the bottom. All right, so oh. there, there's six, sixteen, and eighteen. We're gonna do the big one first. This guy is an eighteen dollar start. And I'm just doing starts in case multiple people are interested. That way no one's upset or left out, you know? This golden healer has red in it, and I don't know why. It's okay, Gina. It's fine. It's like golden healer with, like, some fire quartz. Oh, anybody interested in that one? I can't stop yawning now. This is not good. Cause you're all I need. All right, let's do the little one. That's what you're waiting for. Six dollar start. Let's go, Golden Healer. Six dollar start for this little guy right here. He's cute. This would be an awesome pendant. It would hurt my earlobe if it was a an earring. That would be a really good one to wire wrap. It really would. Fairy. And this golden yes. healer was expensive. It, I got Barry, some. Uh, wrapping? I got some bracelets too. What? Doesn't Fairy do wire wrapping or her hubby? She um. I don't know. 
<laughs> she, she, uh, oh, uh, she polishes stones. She makes tumbles and pendants. She makes cabochons. She makes cabs. There's the word I'm looking for. Oh. All right. So French. I'm bored of the stones. I'm going to show some redone stuff and some other things. I will show the rest of the stones tonight, though. But I'm getting bored. I really want to show this redone stuff because it's oh. really exciting. Mickey came out of nowhere. Oh. It's so shit. No! I'm just kidding. Let me grab it. <laughs> All right, Mickey. Is anybody else interested? I'll go ahead and call it to Mickey. I just, like, pulled my hair out because I sat on it. Cloop Jan! I had the question. Um, yes? Okay. The, the, the Witch's Brew Travel Mug thing. Can you get more of those? Um... I don't know if I can get another one that's tall like that, but they do have shorter ones. Like sh like the little, it's like a little black wine cup that says Witch's Brew in green. Hmm, interesting. But I think that's the only... They might have another tall guy there, but I don't know when I'm going to be able to go back. You know? Yeah. I don't know. Do you want me just to put him to the side for you? Do you want him? Uh, I still have a feeling since you showed him, it needs to go up for everybody. <laughs> it's not fifty pm. <sighs> All right. So I've got a, a a little bit of variety of things to show. I've got the tall travel redone mugs. I've got four, or, or the you know the cups, travel cups, and then I've got four regular redone mugs, but they're from like their travel collection. I've got France, Italy, San Fran, and L.A., and they're really cool. I'm, I'm digging it. And then um, I've got, like, another little Ray Dunn thing. i got a Ray Dunn pot. I've got a stone box with the all-seeing eye on it. I've got a couple of skincare items, uh, a really cool giant saphir holder, and then two little things for, like, your zodiac. I've got a Libra sign and an Aquarius sign. If any of that sounds scrumdily umptious and you want to see it right now, I'll show it. Otherwise, I'll just show what I want to show. Did you see what Beck says? What? Yeah. She's so funny. <laughs> Let's see what. You want to see the mugs? I want to show you the mugs first. I'm going to be honest. I think they're really cool. You know hey, honey. Hey. What are you doing? What is that? What is that? What is that? Is it alive? Oh, what's it doing? It's alive. Is it a silver turquoise ring? Where'd you find that? Is it alive? I'm going to sell it. Mm. I don't know how big it is. Sorry. I don't think it's silver. It well, does not, it might be. It, it kind of looks like a handmade piece. It does not fit on my little pinky knuckle. It's adjustable. Is it? Yeah. Okay. So at its smallest size, um, it's like a five. Probably yeah. Small. Yeah. At its smallest size, it's like a four and a half, five. All right. Anyways, move that to the side. I am what I am. <laughs> I want to show that move guy sphere. Actually, it's pretty cool. Are you okay. Referencing my shirt. Huh. I have a shirt with Popeye on it. It says, I am what I am. No, Beck said I am. That's what Beck said. Do you know? America. <laughs> America. <laughs> Coming again to save the day, America. <laughs> the first part of that song is so good. Yeah. All right, I'm going to show you all four of them just because I really want to. And then, um, you know, we can bid on them or whatever. So this is San Fran, San Francisco. It's this nice, like, uh, orange. It says orange inside. And then it's got the bridge on the other side. Isn't that so cool? I love that. And then we have LA, which is a bright yellow on the inside. And it's got palm trees and a sun on the back. Oh. 
I'm a little obsessed. <laughs> it makes me want to start collecting Ray John Lux. France. And it's like this nice blue on the inside. And it's called The I Failed Thaler. And then we have Italy. Which, for all the... Th it's red on the inside. For all the things I could have done for Italy, they just did the boot. <laughs> they just did the continent. <sighs> oh my goodness. Oh. Hey, Andy. Honey. Honey, wait, come here. Why are you holding a fridge? <sighs> I don't want to forget what Cindy said. Okay, so uh, these are the same price as the as the all the Ray Dunn mugs I get. Um, they're fifteen bucks a piece. Um. Do you want me just to have them be a buy it now, like normal, or do you guys want to bid on them? Hey, Pat. Do we just want to do a buy it now, like normal? I don't want to make anyone mad. Just buy it. Just buy it now, like normal. Okay. All right. No one said anything. I'm just okay. So, Italy is going to Mori. What? Cindy said, tell Andy I'm send him a oh, shit, it moved. Hang on. <laughs> uh, tell Andy I'm going to send him a challenge coin from this year's police week. Challenge coins. Do you? I don't know. Challenge her, and her, and her and her late husband were, um, were both in the service. Really? Mm -hmm. Sweet. My overall end goal is to become a detective. And then we're sending France to Christy. Okay. Someone get the Italy one. Yeah, Maury did. For Christy. Did you tell her that they had a thousand landmarks and just slapped just the country on the mug? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How disappointed Andy is because of all, all that right. history but couldn't so take anything. I've got LA left. This is Los Angeles, California, Sunnyside, California. And I got San Fran, which is San Francisco. <laughs> oh my God. Are you okay? <laughs> Can you be careful? There's breakables everywhere. Are you okay well, there? Don't ask if I'm okay. I could. I your shelf so big. Are you okay, shelf? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Out, go away. <laughs> you rush over and grab the shelf. Are you okay? <laughs> oh, shush. Andy's new job is um, he's a jailer at the county jail. I'm a correctional officer, he's a correctional officer, and he's technically a police official. I'm actually part of law enforcement. So. Yes, yeah, so he's part of law enforcement. His he wants to be a detective, it's a foot in the door. So this is a um a Time really exciting step forward for him. He's super excited. Time for a long so. time. <laughs> well, no, we'll start working out together and we'll get I'll get you in shape. It's time to get shredded. You ready for a drill, Sergeant? Got you. Oh uh, yes, five minutes of the elliptical and then going inside. <laughs> Snap time. <laughs> It's very good. Oh my god. <laughs> five minutes on the elliptical, two hour nap, and then another five minutes, and then another two hours. Okay, so these are $15. These are the two I have left. I've got San Fran, which is San Francisco. It's a nice orange, and it's got the bridge on the back. Oh, the big bridge, yep. And I have LA. Which is Los Angeles, California. It's a nice sunny yellow. And then it's got like a cute like palm trees and sun on it. So if anybody wants these two, let me know. And, and I think there's know. like there has to be like a fifth one for sure. Because we're missing like green as an inside color. So. And pink. And like a light blue. So I think there's a couple more in the collection. But that's all I could find today. 
Okay, so if anybody wants those mugs, let me know. I don't know why I, I clucked like a chicken, but it's fine. All right. Okay, now I want to show you the insulated steel tumblers because they're exciting. Insulated steel tumblers? Yes, these guys. Mm, morning, Hudson. Do you want the witch's brew one? Here, let me tell you how much they are Don't first. Then. I'll tell you how much they are, and then you can tell me yes or no. All right. These guys are 25 bucks. Don't hate me. Hey, Penny. Nope, I'm showing redone right now. Um, I've got two regular mugs left. They're 15 apiece. We've got San Fran and LA. And then now we're doing the tumblers. So they're 25 bucks. Christy, do you want the witch's brew? <laughs> All right, I'll show the other two what she thinks. All right, so I've got this one, which is orange. It says pumpkin spice and everything nice. And this is a insulated stainless steel tumbler. And they are brand new, never been used. Um, and these ones, this one is uh, slightly raised as well. Pumpkin spice. It's a very nice pumpkin color as well. And then this one says morning pumpkin in the regular colors. And this one is not raised. And then the last one. Christy, last chance. The last one says witch's brew with a bubbling cauldron. I'm in be right back, but yes, put me at 25. Okay, so Christy's got this one. If anyone else is interested, I think I can get like maybe one more if it's still there. Just let me know and I'll do my best. So this one goes to Christy. They do have um, the smaller one, like the wine ones that say witch's brew, but they don't have um, this on it. Oh no, I didn't, Cindy. I meant to do that, but it doesn't have the cauldron on it. It just says witch's brew. It might have like a couple like green bubbles, but it's like a smaller like insulated like wine cup. Um, so I can I, they had like a three of those I think, but I was on a budget today, so I could not get everything. <laughs> I was on a budget. All right, so Christie's got that guy. Now everything is mixed up. Okay, so. These are um, travel tumblers, travel tumblers, they are 25 bucks. I've got pumpkin spice and morning pumpkin left, and I think the like the little travel like wine cups they're either they're between fifteen and twenty. Okay. Yeah. Because we're redoing the HVAC system in this yeah. bloody house. Because it's cold everywhere else upstairs. Which is obviously the snake. It's supposed to be seven. That one's one. I'm only wants one. And if I can't get you guys the big t tumbler, do you want um? Do you want the smaller wine cup? Just say yes or no. And the the smaller wine cup, it's um. So I think they're like this big, roughly, and they're black with like the bright green lettering on it. 
Yeah. And then Maury told me yes or no. And then these are the two that I have left. I've got morning pumpkin and pumpkin spice. Which I thought were really cute. I hope they were adorable. Okay, I'll put these down. Stay. And Maury says, yes, please. Okay. I got to sneeze. I have to sneeze. No. Um, oh, yes, I do. <coughs> Excuse me. They have these really nice, um, like, plush radon blankets. Uh, some say, like, gather, sweater weather. Um, there's some that are, like, this really nice, like, burnt pumpkin, like, spicy orange and stuff like that. Thank you. <laughs> but um, I didn't know if I should get any of those. And those would range between, like, 40 and $60, depending on how, like, big the blanket is. So if you guys do want some like holiday radon blankets, let me know. And then there was, oh, there was something else. Oh, and there's also a couple different styles of jewelry boxes. Um, if anyone wants some radon jewelry boxes and those would be 50 bucks. So some of it is a little expensive. Okay. Oh, okay. Now I'm gonna show this pot. Did anybody else want the the insulated mug? Because I didn't know it was, you know, buy it now. <laughs> yeah. Um, I've got this Ray Dunn pot here. Don't worry, the lid's attached. And it says boil. This guy is twenty five bucks. Okay. Almost looks cast iron from the top, you know. And it's got a nice wood handle and then a nice little wood thing on the top here. And it says it's a 1.5 quart saucepan, hand wash only to ensure the longevity of the non-stick coating, heavy gauge cast aluminum induction bottom. Did you what say that? 25? Huh? Did you say 25 for that? Yes. Pat, what do you want? What does Pat want? Pat, what do you want? Oh, one of the blankets. Oh, my God. <laughs> and it says boil oh my god okay I'm done it doesn't want me to show you listen it's new there's nothing wrong with it nothing's broken I'm putting it down god that thing is a pain in my butt cheeks okay um do you want like one of the like orangey colored blankets and do you want one that says, do you want like a sweater weather one or like a gather one? Um, kind of give me like an ex like a vibe. And then there's one that has like a fall print on it where instead of it being like a solid color and then just like a little patch sewn on, it's like a whole, it's like a pattern. They're really soft. I love her blankets. I want, I want like 10 of them. I want 10 of them. All of them. All right. So we're going to say the pot sold to fairy. I don't think anybody else is into the pot. Thank you. Can you get a skull blanket? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, Pat, did you want the pot? I'm so confused. <laughs> Confirm what you want. <laughs> Please. Uh, Like a Ray Dunn school blanket or like just a blanket with skulls on it? I can retract if it if we were, you know, if it was going against Barry and Pat. She just said yes. She said yes. So you did want the pot, the fairy? I don't. She fairy. might be lagging a little. I don't know. I'm going to eat a fortune cookie cookie while we wait. They look like this. Oh, look. Blanket with skulls on it. Oh! oh that one is the pot. I'm sorry, so I'm not it. getting any blankets. Okay. Okay. Hello, Jane. How are you faring this fine evening? Hey, Jane. I hope all is well and all is getting better. Alrighty. I have like so, a plush blanket with skulls on it myself. Right. There's no fortune. No fortune. Um, so just to reiterate, I've got these brand new Ray Dunn insulated stainless steel tumbers, tumblers. They're 25 bucks. We got pumpkin spice and morning pumpkin. These are great to take your coffee, your tea. You can drink water out of them. Uh, and then they open like this. And it is big enough to put like a straw in there as well which is how I drink out of uh, tumblers like this. I put straws and everything. So if anyone wants morning pumpkin or pumpkin spice, they're 25 bucks, let me know. Or like myself, that is your adult sippy cup. And then I also have these $15 mugs. We've got LA. And San Fran. So those guys are 15 bucks, let me know. And then if someone wanted another another France one, um, I think they had like one more of those, but there wasn't any more Italy ones. Oh. Okay. And then the last redone thing I have is this guy. He is just gonna be eight bucks and he does have a little chip right there. And it just says his and hers. And you put like pens and pencils and stuff in it. Or toothbrushes or razors. I don't know, whatever you want. You put whatever you want there. And that guy's just eight bucks. Okay, Pat. Thank you. That would have been the type of thing I would have gotten with me and Matt because that was cheesy like that. Aw, yeah. Ooh. Pat said if you can't get the witch's brew mug for uh, them, then if you get the pumpkin spice mug, that's okay. If you give it to them. Okay, yeah, I got you. All right, this is going to be $6 star. It is avocado peeling gel. Um, it's just a pure skin avocado peeling gel. Extra mild and soft, deep moisturizing. I think it's like a peel-off mask. Oh, um, well, that look cool. Look how relaxed that avocado looks. He's a little cheeky. I want a blanket with avocados that look like that. Jewel T, you want this guy? 
How much was your avocado feeling, Jill? Six dollars. Anybody into that? I got meringue cookies and I'm kind of excited about it, except for they go everywhere. Ooh. Oh no. All right. And if no one's interested in avocado peeling gel, that's all uh, right. I keep it for myself. I got this skin therapy melatonin advanced skin booster, and it is a rejuvenating eye cream. And this guy is $8. Skin therapy rejuvenating eye cream. Melatonin. Oh, it's number one ingredients water. Love it. And then there's a bunch of other stuff. Oh, it's got. <laughs> you want me to read it all to you? <laughs> Let me read this. This is what this contains water, glycerin, glycereth 26, but butylane glycol, capriclic, capric triglyceride. Cetyl hexanate, acrylates, C10-30, acala acrylate cross polymer, centare cyanus flower extract, ginkgo biloboa leaf extract, <laughs> scrutillaria biocalinensis root extract, Glyceryzaglabra licorice root extract, polysorbate 20, hydroxyphenyl propmidolbenzoic acid, melatonin, hydrolyzed collagen, sodium hyaluronate, alat alatoin, hyd uh, Hydrolastophanamine one, oh. two dash hexanidol fragrance, pent pentaline glycol, dieth 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 thymoxy chromanol. Anyone get that? <laughs> Here you go. Avocado. And if you would like the ingredients, water, cellulose, dipropylene glycol, glycerin, butylene glycol, paracetisma, which is avocado fruit extract, centilla aceto extract, portaluca alaricea extract, papaya fruit extract, carbomer, <laughs> car it looks like carbomer. Arginine, polysorbate 80, xythan gum, hydrated silica, disodium EDTA, chlorophosine, ethyl exoglycerin 1, 2 dash hexanidol and fragrance. Any interest? This is the avocado peel. That was really rough to go through. And then the Melatonin Advanced Skin Booster Eye Cream for your eyeballs. Right here. Where the bags go. You know? Unless you're lucky enough to not get any bags. You know, that happens. I, I've heard, anyways. You know? Down the rabbit hole, I've heard. Ugh. All right. Ugh. I got something really cool to show you. This guy is pretty amazing. I wonder how many people I put to sleep by reading what was in those, the beauty products. I, for one, do not understand what half the ingredients are. 
That was a lot of big words. <laughs> All right, this is cupcakes and cashmere at home. Product does not contain cashmere. All right. Fairy wants the eye cream. She's like, you went through all that sh that work. I'm going to take the eye cream. Fairy. My fairy love. Yeah, I gotta put, I gotta box up everything for Fairy and ship it out. I think I need to box up all Jane's stuff and, and um, uh, do that as well. It's rejuvenating eye cream, Maury. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this is uh, this is twenty bucks. It's a big, beautiful marble box. It's got the all-seeing eye on it. And you can put whatever you want in here. It's a little heavy, but it's amazeballs. It's 20 bucks. So got its tag on there. Brand new. It's awesome. I like it a lot. It's pretty cool. Right? It says cupcakes and cashmere at home. Handcrafted in India. Product does not contain cashmere. Handcrafted in India. It's pretty cool. I like it. And it's a nice size box here. Oh! It feels good. I love boxes. I'm a fan of the boxes. So that guy's 20 bucks if anybody wants him. So, what happened over here? Oh no, Christy's still here. She was quiet. And there are no cupcakes. You don't get cupcakes. I'm sorry. No cupcakes. All right, there's one last thing to show, and then we're going back to the Stony Babies. I know we can do jewelry or plush or whatever. This is a called a trunk bowl, and uh, I think this would be an awesome giant steer holder. It's pretty cool. Here we go. It's an elephant. And I only have, I don't have, oh, no, that's not the last thing, because I have these. Okay. Hey, Jane, I think Christy stepped uh, away for a second, but she'll be back in a, in a minute, in a momento. Barry, you want the, the box? Tis yours, darling, it's yours. Thank you very much. <laughs> Stay. All right. What am I doing? Oh, I remember. Grabbing this big sphere. This is the biggest one I have. And uh, this is for one that's much larger, like a big daddy, like the big, like a big daddy sphere, like. <sighs> Oh, if she doesn't get it to you, Jane, I'll send it. Why am I showing you the sphere? We're not... We'll do the sphere in a minute. <laughs> I love that sphere, though. We're doing this guy. I didn't give you a price. Uh... Uh... $8. $8 start for the Big Daddy Elephant Sphere Holder. Or you could eat a mini bowl of cereal out it. What do you think, Dante? You want to eat cereal out of my bowl? Dante! Dante! Hey. hey, are you sleeping? Wake up! Wake up! 
Have you been playing all day? Are you tired? He doesn't want to wake up and smell my bulk. This guy's a butt. It's cool. All right. I put this inside. Oh, I put it here. All right. These are made in India. These guys are. Um, dun, 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 dun. Six dollars. So these are six bucks. And I'll just do a buy it now. I have, they're made in India. I've got Aquarius. This is a nice little wood box. And I have Libra. So the only two I have are made with little beads. Just nice wood boxes. So just say Aquarius or Libra. And that'll be yours. The elephant, we got fairy in at eight. Cindy, do you want to come in at nine? I will point. He's very cute. He's got like these really cute eyes. A little chunky legs. Does he have a tail? <gasps> Look at his tail. <laughs> Shut up. I'm not crying. You're crying. So I get to keep the avocado, Joe? That's exciting. Hey, I like avocado, Joe. I'm okay with that. Happy birthday to me. Avocado, Joe. Hey, avocado, Joe. Avocado, Joe. Avocado, Joe. Avocado, Joe. Alright. Going to Cindy. Boom. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Showed. Thank you very much. Oh. Aquarius or Libra. Six dollars each. Buy it now. New. Made in India. With beads. That's how I text, too. Makes a lot of people angry. Alright. Aquarius. Ooh. And Libra. Ooh. Love it. Love it. So if anyone wants those, no. And then again for fifteen bucks, we got the San Fran mug. Right done, and the oh, the LA mug. All right, that is that stuff. Now it is back to the Stony Babies. Or, um, we can do brooches. I do have some brooches. Or, oh no, I'm yawning. Ooh, or I could break the plush out. I've got three big bags of plush, though. So. Aww, that is cute. I think that's like a weird, like, sh like fate. Well, that has to be fate. Like for real. Oh, okay. All right. Oh. Hey, Laura. How is your sale, boo? Boo. Beautiful lady. How was it? Was it good? You know what you need? You need a bread. <laughs> A brand new Ray Dunn insulated stainless steel tumbler that says Morning Pumpkin. 25 bucks and it can be all yours. I'm just fucking with you. Unless you want it. You can, you can totally buy it. I'm not, you know, I won't fight you. 
Oh, I'm glad your sale was great. I think I popped in for a second, but I honestly don't remember. My office was like a complete mess because I did a garage sale over the weekend and I had to fix it up before I was able to go live. Otherwise, I would have came in. Did you know? I don't remember what I was going to say. I just can't. <laughs> I just wanted to pick on you. I don't have, I was going to get some more essential oils today, but I didn't get any more. I don't know what to get. And I don't want to like get too many and then like nobody wants them, you know, or they'd be like too expensive. The garage sale sucked. Sucked your back. It sucked. It sucked so horribly. It was awful. Not a fan. Never doing it again. I ain't gonna do it. Mm -mm. Nope. Okay. Distractions. I don't know what to show. Okay, so should I? Do you guys want to see more stuff tonight? I've only been on for an hour and 36 minutes, but I'm kind of tired. Yeah, I love going to them, but setting up for it is ridiculous. It's it's horrible. It's so not worth it. And then, like, it hurt my feelings every time someone would just, like, drive by. Like, they drive by and they do, like, the whole neck thing where they're, like, trying to look in there. They're, like, straining themselves and then they just leave. It made me so sad. So sad. That's so sad. was not fun. Okay, so I have a cute little fish sphere stand. He's 15 bucks. Oh my gosh. Bro, I'm always tired. I've got some golden healer bracelets. And to me, it looks like there might be a little bit of fire quartz mixed in there. Um, So that's fun. They're very cold. And they're big, they're big beads too. I have a big magnesite spear. That's this guy. I love this guy. So we got the big magnesite spear. I've got the mookite spear, which is pretty incredible. love that thing and then i've got one more fire quartz sphere left this one is bigger i've got the two bigger tumbles of golden healer <laughs> i've got some lab hearts left blue lace agate hearts and i have this flower agate like snail shell And then I still have Grape Agate Towers left as well. Oh, I was just showing you what I had in case anyone was interested in this stuff. I'm getting really tired. All right. I'm shaking it off. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so the Grape Agate Towers, they are $15. Um, the lab hearts start at 10 bucks. Uh, the blue lace agate mini hearts are eight dollars. The flower agate shell is 15. The little golden healer palm stones I have one 16s, one, one is 18. Um, the bracelets, uh, two of them are 12 and one is ten dollars. One's a little bit smaller and that one's 10 and the other two are 12. Uh, the bigger fire quartz sphere, the fire quartz I have left, it's 40. The moog height is 45. And the magnesite is 60.
You want me to do the, are we doing the bracelets? So 12, 12, and then and 10. The 10 is just a little bit shorter and the, the beads are a little bit smaller as well. What else was 12? Was that the only thing that was 12? I think so. Okay, so these guys here. So this would be number one. And it's stretchy. And this would be number two. Right? Because this was number two. This one's number two. This would be number two. Hey, Elizabeth! I'm so happy to see you. How you doing? That's number two. So one and two. Um, so the golden healer chunks that I have here, the bigger one is um so this big one, it's got lots of clear in it. This one's gonna be 16. And then this one is a little bit smaller and it is going to be 18. There's that one. And then this one. And then the small one was six bucks, but somebody already got him. And then number one is going to Cindy. Da -da 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 -da. <clears throat> All right. Oh, I'm sleepy. Okay, so, bruh, there we go. So twelve dollars for Cindy for the bracelet. So there's one more twelve dollar golden healer bracelet left. It's right here, and then I have another one that is the beads are a little bit smaller. This one is ten dollars, and it does look like it has some fire quartz with it as well. So it's like golden healer and fire cords. But they do sell them as golden healer, so. Love the confusion on that. And then I've got $8 blue lace agate hearts. And then, so I'll reiterate. So this one's $18 for this chunk of golden healer and this one is 16 and it's a little bit bigger and it does have some red on it which i think is weird but like listen i'm not a stone guru i really like how clear the clear parts are because it just has like a touch of the healer <sighs> cindy you want the the ten dollar bracelet too The only lab I've got is lab hearts. So I think you're you'll be safe. Safe. <laughs> oh, let me write that down. This is a flower agate shell. It's 15. It's got some really cool stuff in there that's like it's it's like layered in there but it's kind of hard to see with my light Hang on. Okay. 
really cool. That's the flower agate. So the flower agate guy, he is 15. And he's, like I said, he's a really cool layered piece. I really like him. Can I get the other golden healer bracelet, please? Oh, you sure may, uh, Mickey. I almost called you Elizabeth. You sure may. Got you, Mickey. Got you. Put this in here. And then show the last two spheres again, please. Um, do you want the fire quartz, the mukite, or the magnesite? The magnesite's the really big one. Denise! The Mukite one? Okay. I think that's what you mean. So the Mukite sphere is $45. So $45 start. It's got lots of nice red on there. And then it's got this really cool, like, mango patch. It's like a mango orange yellow. And it's got some really deep spots there. I love this thing. I love new coat. Thank you, Denise. You are awesome, too. And that's how big it is. It's a pretty big guy. And again, um, all the spheres except for the Magnesite one come with a, uh, a stand until I run out of stands. So this guy will probably get a bigger one like this. Anyone else in for the Moo Kite? He's gorgeous. I love him. Or we can put him on wood. All right. He kind of looks like he's smiling at you. And also, like, he has an eyeball. I love Mukai. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. If there's no other interest, I'm going to count it down to Cindy. We're going to go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. We are sold to Cindy. Thank you, thank you very much, and thank you for telling me you want glass. That definitely helps. All right. Um, I'm going to show this guy. This is the Magnesite Sphere. He is a $60 start. And he's got all these little caves. And he actually has, um, like, grape cluster... In there is like the best way to like describe it. So he's got druzies, but they're like they're just different, you know. And this is magnesite. And it's a big guy. Big dude. I think it's it's around the size of the lab that I had. I love the little spots right there. Love those little spots. Um, it's around the size of that big lab sphere that I had, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. And I think the little I think it it shines, but it's not like super sparkly, you know. Yeah, they're like really tiny crystals that are on like the um the like agony parts. And then there's a couple of bugs as well. Lots of little bugs. The like snowy spot here though is definitely my fave. Yeah, they're tiny crystals. 
Okay, there we go. So they are um rough. <laughs> they are tiny crystals on there. It kind of reminds me of what's that one that we got? He's 60. He's 60. He's a big guy. Oh, uh, Gina, what were those called? The the big the cephalorite. It reminds me of like an earth tone, like an earth tone cephalorite. I love him. I love him. Oh. Here, let me just type it. There. <laughs> am I am I freezing? Is it me or you? Now I'm worried that I'm freezing. Am, am I freezing? No, I look okay now. Okay. Okay. Right. So that's that guy. And then he also has um, all these little bugs on him here as well. Those are my finger there, I guess. And there's some little ones down there as well. And then there's also a bunch of little bugs like all through the brown. It kind of looks like a thousand eyes. It's really cool. I love this one. I love them. Okay, I put I put down. If anyone wants them, let me know. I put. I put stays stay. Okay, and then I've got the forty dollar fire quartz. So he is smaller than this guy, but still a substantial size sphere. He's got lots of like there's a word for it. What do you mean? You put him on a sphere holder. <laughs> If anyone's curious about this fish, the fish is at fifteen dollars. There's that guy on there. Those are the spheres I have. <laughs> um, let's see. So, there's those and then these guys. And this order was mostly big stuff, so not a ton of littles. I've got the big $60. Um, Turtle. We have the big sixty dollar or a clear quartz turtle, and I have this forty five dollar alligator. Those are those big things. Oh, Lori, you want this guy? And the fish? 
You want him in the fish? He does fit on the fish. <laughs> okay, awesome, Lori. Thank you so much. You did, Elizabeth. You told me last time you were in here. All right. Oh, put that guy to the side. And then we'll get you written down for that. Yeah, this guy's cool. This is my favorite side to show off personally, but everyone will have their own side that like speaks to them. Yeah, I love that side. It's really cool. Okay, let me write this down and then let me know if anybody's into that turtle. Um, I know you were thinking about it, Boo. So if you if you thought about it and you want the turtle, let me know. Oh, my eyebrows itchy. That's not good. There we go. And I've been taking the stickers off before um, I wrap them up. That way you guys don't have to deal with peeling those off. Uh, this big turtle. It's a big turtle. It's an aura coated um, clear quartz cluster turtle. And he's 60. He's a big guy. He's a big, big bro. Um, I found some that weren't aura treated that were this size, but it would I'd have to sell them at like a like over a hundred dollars. And that's you know a little bit too much. So I didn't I haven't picked up any more. But he's very big. Um let's see. Here's his size uh compared to the rutilated tower, cluster tower that Lori got earlier. I love that tower. It's really cool. So, I think he's gorgeous. He's got little toes. A little mouth. I like him a lot. And he still has some of his um, matrix down there as well. Pop him there. And then... The alligator's nice and long, too. <sighs> Just kind of showstoppers, I think. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and show the grape agate towers one more time. And then I think we're going to be pretty much done. I'm real. My eyes are getting heavy. Oh, there we go. So these are going to be $15. These are grape agate towers. They're all roughly about this size. This is number one. It's got that nice purple on the top, and it, like, fades down to, like, a sea foamy green. So that's number one. Number two is, like, solid purple. It's very, very purple. Number three, I think number three might be my favorite. It's got like some dark green on there and then it's got some really like big purple clusters. This is number three. There we go. And then number four. And this one's got lots of purple down there as well. It's just like a cute little tower. Um, I've got a bigger tower, Laura. A bigger chunk of it. My bigger chunk's 50. Here's the size comparison. This guy's pretty big. So here's the $15 guy, and then here's the $50 guy. Good night, Maury. 
So if anyone's interested in any of that great baguette, let me know. And uh, I'll show this stuff again tomorrow night, too, when I got Gina on. And um, oh, some other stone people are in here, too. So no worries. And I might even have another box of stones in tomorrow. That'd be really exciting. Yes, I love I love the great baguette towers. This one I'll keep if nobody gets it. Yeah, the big one I have, the sides are polished. Um I'll do I'll do plushies on a night I'm by myself. It's too hard to do with um with someone else on with me. So I'll probably do those like Wednesday or something. Just to reiterate, I've got these guys for six bucks. I've got Libra and Aquarius. Uh, for 25 bucks, I've got the Morning Pumpkin Ray Dunn Tumbler and a Pumpkin Spice Tumbler. And then I've got two $15 mugs left. I've got San Fran, which is San Francisco. And LA, which is Los Angeles, California. I think everything else has been called for. Oh, except for this. Uh, this is six bucks. It is the avocado peeling gel, and it's completely sealed in plastic, still brand new. I think that's everything. Do I have any more stands? No, I don't. Um, I don't have any more like tall stands like the fish. I've got the glass and the wood sphere holders. Um, I can I can get another fish if you want a fish. They've got like they have pink and purple. Uh, Michelle P got the purple one. This is the purple one. So they've got pink and purple of the fish. If you would like a fish, if there's like a particular style that you're looking for for the sphere holders or ones that are like a little bit bigger, um, let me know and I can I can get some. I think I. Yeah, I just started an order with where like I get my sphere stands from, so it wouldn't be um, hard to order one. Pinkfish. Pinkfish stand. Okay. I think that's it. So nobody wants any green bag it. I'll put that I'll throw that in the uh Oh no 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 no. Put that in the bucket up here. Gently. Yeah, because everything else over there is good. What was the redone before the pumpkin spice? Uh, the it's it says morning pumpkin. And then I did have um this one, which is witch's brew. I've uh I've got one order for this one, um. Two, I've got two back orders for this one if I can find it. I know they had like a couple of the like wine cups of it, so I don't know how many I'll be able to get of like the tumble thing, tum tumblers, but the witch's brew one is pretty cute. But I'm a fan of pumpkin stuff. <laughs> so I figured I'd grab those too. You want the morning pumpkin one? Sweet. It's yeah, it's it's uh it's stainless steel. It's stainless steel, not ceramic. It's an insulated insulated stainless steel. Oopsies. Tumblr. There you go. 
for hot and cold beverages. Beverages. Yep. <laughs> Makes sense to me. <laughs> All right. Um, <clears throat> okay. I can't believe nobody wants those other two mugs. Y'all are crazy. Maybe I'll show them to mug. Poor hips, probably. I'll probably show them tomorrow. All right. I think that's it for me. It's only 10 o'clock at night, and I'm like, I'm exhausted. Beverages, every beverages. It's cause freaking um, oh my god, what's her name? Doja Cat. So Doja Cat was like live talking to people, and she was talking about like what kind of beverage she wanted to make, and she was like, I got it. Like she's and she said beverage, beverages, and that's just in my brain forever now. <laughs> gotta get, gotta get a be beverage. <laughs> It was just funny. Okay. Good night. I love y'all. Thank you so much. Gina will be on with me tomorrow night. Um, so I will show the stones again. So if there's anything you're thinking about, you can, you know, make decisions tomorrow. It's cool. I'll chill. No worries. And uh, if I get another order in, I've got two boxes that are on the way. Um, the big box that has all, like, all the spheres in it and stuff, that will be here, like, at the end of the week. But there's another box that should be here like Monday or Tuesday, I'm hoping. Um, it was supposed to be here before this stuff got here, but it wasn't. So love that. Anyways, love you guys. See you tomorrow.